It was a life-changing night for a third grader at Madison Elementary thanks to a group of extraordinary Penn High School students. Not only did they pass their engineering class with flying colors, but they were able to fashion a robotic arm for a nine-year-old who was born without one. New Center 16's Megan Hickey was at tonight's ceremony. And Megan, how were they able to create a prosthetic arm? Well, Terry, believe it or not, the students did the whole thing with 3D printers. It was a long and difficult road for these budding engineers, but they say the impact that it will make on this nine-year-old's life was well worth the time. It was a celebration fit for a princess. <laughs> princess Grace, that is. One with a beautiful new accessory for her gorgeous gown. And it started here. So this whole project was a giant learning opportunity for all of us. Um, you know, none of us know anything about prosthetics. We're not prosthetic engineers. We're just a bunch of high school students. But a group of high school students that managed to create a functioning robotic arm from 3D printed materials, which is no easy feat. It was really quite a steep learning curve. Uh, the students found a lot of resource, resources online, but those were just resources. Uh, you really had to turn those into the design that you wanted to give to Grace. Four months and countless hours later, Grace is giving these kids an A+. Instead of, you know, how school usually is, just we do things for no reason. But it's really cool to actually have a reason to and actually be able to help someone. Good. I can't wait to use it a lot. Grace was sent home with two robotic arms and a list of things to try for the very first time. I tried uh, shaking people's hands for some reason. Hearing things with this arm. Um... Tickling people. These students seized a remarkable opportunity in problem based learning, and Grace had a night that she'll never forget. You just know that it's life changing for her. I know that in the future she's going to look back on this, and it's just going to be one of those markers in her life. And it wasn't just the engineering students who helped Grace. Several sewing students designed and created that dress, and videography students helped create a documentary showing her story. And by the turnout in the auditorium tonight, you could really tell it was a school-wide effort. I'm just amazed by these kids these <laughs> days. Just absolutely amazed. Will the students continue to work on the project after tonight? They will. There's actually a third arm being printed right now. They're hoping that each version gets a little bit better over time. So there, it will definitely be a project that carries into the future. Wow, boy, a story you won't uh, forget for a long time. No, no. And neither will Grace. All right, thanks, Megan.